All right, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. So as you can see by the title, in today's video, I'm going over a startup cost of my business and telling you guys how I landed my first contract within like the first 30 days. I'm gonna get straight into it. So first thing I had to pay for to get my business up and running was I had to pay for an LLC. And for me, I uh, when I was searching up how to get an LLC and all that, because I was new to it, I didn't know like how to get an LLC. So I was searching up online and a lot of, a lot of websites that you find online, they'll show just like, like $300, $400, $500 startup costs to get an LLC. I recommend that you don't pay for that. I recommend that you don't pay a lot of money from these big websites and just go through your state. So for me, I live in Indiana. So I went to the Indiana website, indiana.gov website, 15 minute application just to get your business up and running. The fee for that was $95 or $97. And that pretty much gave me an article of organization I can pop that up on the screen for you guys, and that pretty much certified me as like uh, an official business, uh, I guess you would say. And then like part two to step one would be to get an EIN. So I had to get an EIN, which is pretty much for you. Those of you that don't know what an EIN is, it's uh, pretty much like your business's social security number. So like how we, we have personal social security numbers that are tied to us, and you know, banks run your social security number, you know, banks are gonna run your EIN number, and they're gonna see that your business makes this amount of money or your business does this or your business does that, that your business has this many employees, you know, they can see all that with your EIN number. So step two would be to get an EIN number from the IRS website. Now this part is free. So getting an LLC, that costs how much ever you are willing to pay for it. For me, it cost me $97, but to get an EIN, that's completely free. So you go to irs.irs.gov and you, it should be a tab somewhere on there. You know, it should be, it should be somewhere on there that you just press apply for EIN. And pretty much they're gonna ask for your business name and uh, you know a bunch of other questions about your business pretty much. And you're gonna give it to them and they're gonna draft you up an EIN, like that simple. But your EIN and your LLC go hand in hand. So don't think you just go go out here and get an EIN and be able to go to the banks and get business credit and all that, you're not gonna be able to. You're gonna need an official business which is an LLC, and you're gonna need an EIN number, which is completely free, the EIN, but you're gonna need a, a official LLC, like through whether your state or the third party websites that you go through. So those, that's the first step, part A and part B. The second thing that I had to do was, well, I didn't have to do, but the second thing that I decided to do was to go and get business credit, right? So I wanted to go get business a business checking account, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even go in there to get business credit, so I didn't think that my business being new would even get approved for business credit. So I went in there and uh, to get a business business account, I went to Chase to get a business account. So I got a business account to store my money in, in there, obviously. So you need your LLC, the paper that they give you for creating your LLC, and you need your EIN numbers. If you want to get the business account set up, you need those two things. And for me, it was relatively easy. I don't know. I went to Chase and like I was there for like 30 minutes maybe. But that's because the guy was just talking to me. Like we were just talking for a long time just about, just about stuff. You know outside of what I was even there for but he was just pretty much like giving me like uh, applause because he said a lot of people going and they do the wrong thing and he's like yeah you did the right thing I've never seen nobody start up and do everything on their own and do it this way but for me it was pretty easy I just went in there hey I'm here just to create a business checking account uh, he's like all right I just need this and that I had everything in hand so you know whatever bank you go to might be different but for me it was Real easy. And then he was like, hey, you want to apply for a credit card, a business credit card? I was like, yeah. He was like, uh, and so for me, they, they, for the Chase account that I went, uh, the credit card I went through, they actually had to pull my personal credit. And this credit card is kind of like a beginner credit card for uh, businesses, but it gets your business credit up and running also. So I said, sure, because my credit score is not that bad. And for you, that credit, your credit score is maybe like lower than mine, mine, mine is about a 7, 27, 30. So obviously everybody won't be able to go into a, a fucking bank and just say, hey, I want a credit card, cause that won't work. But I'm saying for the people who have relatively higher credit, like some of these banks or credit unions might give you credit cards and there may be a hundred videos out there. But I don't recommend that anybody just goes out there and applies for a business credit card and just thinks that it's gonna go through cause most, nine times out of 10 it won't. So. For the credit card, I, I recommend that you just try a checking account first, a business checking account. And for me, I opened a checking account, no fee at all. Uh, 
just had to use my EIN and my, my LLC paperwork that they gave me for starting my LLC. And those two, got I got to create a business checking account. I deposited about $500 in it, you know, and over time, I plan to add that up, add that up so I can reinvest back into the business. And yeah, those that's, that's the first two things I did pretty much was creating the LLC, getting the EIN, and getting the, the business funds, which is relatively easy. All of it was very simple. None of it really caught, uh, cost me a lot, I would say, you know, and the only thing that's cost me a lot in this is obviously getting the truck and uh, probably insurance, which I'm going to talk about next. The next step in getting the business started up was a truck. Obviously, I had the LLC, I had the EIN, I had the business funding, and now I need a truck to start my, my business because I'm trying to fucking be my own boss. I'm trying to work, drive my own truck, you know? So for me, me and my dad, my dad helped me a lot in this. So me and my dad were searching online for trucks. And, you know, he actually found one, his friend who wasn't using his truck because uh, he had bought a truck thinking he was going to use it for something, and he didn't. And the truck was just sitting there for a long time. So he's like, my dad was like, hey, you want to sell this? And he was like, yeah, I'll sell it. He gave it to us for a great price. Like, I'm going to show you guys this truck later on in this video. And y'all will not believe how much we paid for this truck. But uh, whoever can guess how much we paid for this truck, you know, I might, might throw something. But... Uh, I might, I might, I might give you some because y'all will never guess like how much this truck was like at all. I'm just gonna show y'all a video of it later on in this video, but uh, yeah, the, the third thing, the well, the, well, the second thing I want to say is just finding a truck, you know. And for us, uh, that was relatively easy because obviously my dad found somebody. So yeah, finding a truck was, you know, what I had to do outside of the funding and creating an LLC. And the next thing I want to talk about is, uh, I got all this stuff written on my computer, so the next thing was insurance, obviously. Obviously, I needed insurance. So a lot of carriers or uh, uh, like contractors or like low boards require you to have a certain amount of coverage. And I was just skipping another step. So I was able to land a contract with a guy, right? So I was searching on Indeed and uh, Pretty much, I just found a contract, and it said I just spent all day searching up independent contractor cargo van. So, boom! One day I woke up and I looked that up, and it, was, it said new. It said like, and it said that the dude that was looking for people was like on it every day, and he was like looking for people, and it was something I was willing to do, obviously because like I was looking for local local, local work, and in the description of his, his contract, he emphasized like local. In Indiana, which is where I stay, he said local Indianapolis, Indiana work, uh, you know, within a hundred mile radius. So I applied and boom, the next morning he called me and he was like, hey man, you know, he gave me the requirements for the insurance. He told me I had to have 350,000 liability, uh, 50,000 cargo, uh, which ensures, the 50,000 cargo is just to ensure the cargo for the loads that you're carrying, you know. So he was just like, man, make sure you have those two and you're good to work and we can start today. So boom, like two hours later, I got the phone with him and he's like, boom, I got an order for you, bro. You want, you want to start right now? I'm like, yeah, fuck it. So that order paid me like $120, you know, just to go 40 minutes out and 40, mile, 40 minutes back over here. So it was about an hour and some change of work and it paid me $120. Sadly, when I got to the place, I realized that, we both realized that because uh, the order only included the weight. It didn't give him the height. So the ladder was a 20 foot ladder. And as you guys can see, um, I have like a smart cargo van. So I wasn't able to even pick that load up. So, I mean, I got there, you know, I was turned down my first order. I wasn't, I, I was still happy about the fact that I was gonna make $120 that easy. So uh, that was that was how my first order went. But I mean, pretty much after that, I've, I've only worked for him like, this all happened last week, mind you. It all happened last week. So I haven't had that many orders with them. But I was able to get that first order and uh, see that I was able to make $120. You know, he ended up paying me $60 for that, even though I didn't pick it up. He ended up paying me $60. And then today I had an order. And I'll put that video in this, uh, I'll put that video in here. I'll show you. I just picked up a load about 40 minutes away from my house. And it's just pressure washer type of thing so I don't know what it is but I pretty much just went to the place and the contractor that I go through 
he sends me the, like, the instructions and everything to uh, what to do and what to say when I get there. So I just told him, like, hey, I was here for a pickup at the location I'm going to now. I said, hey, I'm here for a pickup in Avon, which is the location that I'm dropping up to. And they pretty much went to the back, got, got this for me in this box with stuff in it. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I think it's like a pressure washer stuff. I got this from a paint store. Yeah, my voice cracked, but I got this from a paint store. So I'm assuming it's something to like put the paint on the walls or something, something like that. But it's a, it's a pretty easy job. And it will, I, I live 40 minutes away from the pickup location. And the drop off was pretty much like five minutes away from my house. So he pretty much called me and said, hey, I got this order for you. I said, okay, bet I'll pick it up. Uh, he said the normal rate for uh, a pickup like this, which was like 20 miles away, he said the normal rate is about $60, but I'll pay you $80. I say okay bet he also had another uh, delivery for me earlier but since I'm kind of busy later on I told him no but that delivery was an hour away and for that delivery since it was an hour away it was gonna pay me to go an hour out and come back another hour so it's gonna be a two-hour job pretty much and it was gonna pay me $120 and I don't know about y'all but that that don't sound too bad so if I took that order plus this order I would have made off of those two orders today alone I would have made about $220 but I mean, I'll, I'll get into detail a little bit later on in this video, but I just want to show you guys this order and you know a little bit of what it looked like and whatnot, you know, but. All right, so as you guys can see, that order was real simple. Like it was a pressure washer for uh, Sherwin, -William, Sherwin Williams over here where I stay about 10 minutes from where I stay. And that order paid me $80. And that was about less than an hour works, less than an hour of work. Uh, it was real easy. I didn't have to go out of my way to do anything. You know, he just called me and said, hey, I got an order for you. I'm going to see your location. And I was like, all right, bet. And I, I picked it up and dropped it off. And he was like, all right, bet. I'll hit you up if you need, if I got anything else. And that's pretty much how he works. Like, I, I've never seen this guy. I've never met him in person. You know, he has work and he gives it out to different people. I'm sure he gets a cut of this. Obviously, he gets a cut of it. But, uh, yeah, that's how I was able to land a contract. But for you guys that are, are wanting to get contracts in the future, search cargo van contracts, independent contracts, uh, because that's definitely going to get you some leads, some, some way to start. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm, the rest of this video I'm going to insert some clips of my car, me going over that. But yeah, if you guys need any advice, anything like that to start up your business, I'm not the smartest person, you know, I just do a lot of research. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I do a lot of research. I do a lot of sitting at home, just sitting on my computers and just like writing stuff down and just preparing for moments like this. You know, I didn't wake up one day and just say, I'm going to do this. You know, this took a long time for me to do. And I actually just quit my job, like working at Amazon. And before that, I was working at another job. So I haven't really had much success, much success working for other people. So, you know, a lot of my life, I've always told myself that I'm going to work for myself. You know, everybody says that, but like I've told myself that for the longest. So now that I'm actually here and able to do it, you know, it does. I'm not going to say it's easy because, because obviously you have to do research. You have to like take a risk and take that sacrifice of, you know, being a, your own boss and being on your own time and, you know, things that come with that. But for me personally, I just don't like working for other people. So this is why I'm. I'm very like eager about learning about working for myself, obviously, and I want you guys to learn more. So if you guys have any questions, you know, you can put the questions in the comments and I'll answer all of them. But uh, if I didn't answer anything in this video and I need to do a part two, you guys tell me what you want to uh, what you want to know. You know, I was able to get this truck, but I know a lot of you won't be able to get a truck, this, this type of truck or this type of deal I was able to get, you know, and I'll, I'll tell you guys, me and my dad got this truck for $1,200, 1200 you know, it had 150,000 miles on it. Nothing was wrong with it. Nothing. Only thing that was wrong with it was the guy that didn't want it. That's the only thing that was wrong with it. He didn't want it, so he wanted to give it away. And that's not what was wrong with it. That was the only reason we got that deal. So the truck was $1,200. Me and my dad paid it cash, full. And uh, I didn't share my insurance also, my bad. So what I pay for insurance is $300 a month. So for you guys that are out here searching for insurances from these big companies and Geico and Progressive and all these companies like that, I recommend you go through your state also. Find the the lowest insurance possible. Like, 
a lot of these big companies are going to obviously want their money because they know they're going to get it from you or somebody else. So I recommend that you go through your state. Find an insurance uh, agency in your state and call them. Just give them a call and just tell them about your business. You know, for me, it cost me $350 a month. Three fifty a month, and that gives me three hundred fifty thousand liability and fifty thousand cargo. So, you know, coming out of pocket, I'm not really coming out of pocket much because I'm able to make that three hundred fifty off of probably like three days worth of work, and I got the rest of the month to pocket that money because the truck's paid off. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up, please, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and yeah, start your business journey like I did. Uh, you know, take as much time as you need to, do as much research as you need to. Uh, but yeah. All right, so for those of you that stay to the end of the video, here's the truck that me and my dad bought. So we bought this for twelve hundred dollars, and it had one hundred fifty thousand miles on it. And the name of it is a Ford Transit Connect XLT. Uh, it's a great truck in my opinion, cargo van in my opinion. Uh, for starters, at least, you know, if you want to make a lot of money, this is not going to make you si uh, six figures a year. Uh, it won't make you that. But inner city work, it does do the job. It, it allows you to get started and start uh, shipping for different carriers and uh, independent contractors. Uh, yeah, it, it does get you started. It's definitely a great starter vehicle. But as far as like higher or like uh, higher demand work you you won't this won't be be it so that's why i plan on upgrading it in the future if not upgrading get another truck in the future and still driving this one and just having either a driver or somebody else family member or something drive this but uh yeah this truck cost us 1200 but i know in the market you look on facebook marketplace or around numerous stores you could probably find it close to four or five thousand in this condition too i feel like this truck has no flaws i mean like no flaws you might look at the outer body and be like uh something has rust or this or that but i don't really care too much about the rust honestly because as long as it drives from point a to point b and i can carry uh so the payload for this is 1900 pounds so as long as i'm able to carry two pallets or whatever or five or six tires or five buckets of water or six buckets of paint and make 90 dollars off of that load do like four or five of those a day I, that's all i care about honestly but yeah uh i'm doing too much talking all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah stay tuned to my channel but hope you guys enjoy it see you later